So studies have been done to show that the flavanols in cocoa stimulate stem cells mm-hmm. to come out of your bone marrow like bees in a beehive in your bloodstream and they go out and they find wherever it needs to be repaired. If it's in your heart, they'll fix it. If it's in your liver, they'll fix it. If it's your skin, they'll fix it. And so we can eat foods like high flavanol cocoa in order to be able to actually get the stem cells to work a little bit better. Okay. Now, how mm. do we know this this actually functions, it works in people? Well, clinical studies have been done with high flavanol cocoa to show that in like men who are in their 60s with heart disease, they could actually eat, just have two cups of dark chocolate hot cocoa a day for a month. Yeah. And they doubled the amount of stem cells in their bloodstream and their circulation improved measurably. And then uh, what's even more Im- important and impressive is that there was a study called the Cosmos study that was completed yeah, recently yeah, yeah. that showed that uh, eating uh, high flavanol cocoa decreases the risk of cardiovascular death. Yeah. Right over a period like a of statin. Period. like a statin, <laughs> right. exactly. Except it's except made with the, by by eating the same thing that you used to make chocolate. That's incredible. So we're not telling people to go out to have chocolate, which is a confection. No, it's got no. a lot of sugar yeah. and all kinds of yeah, other yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, but it's the stuff underlying it, it yeah. the core of it. All right, guys. So what are we talking about here? It seems like two things, right? It seems like we're talking about cacao or chocolate and we're talking about stem cells. So stem cells are beneficial for our body. We have now started to hear it more mainstream, but yet it's not really well-established medicine. But of course, naturally we want to stimulate stem cells. That is ultimately the goal because they are reparative. They will help repair tissues, rebuild our tissues, help do things like he referenced a study that prevents cardiovascular disease. They have an amazing, powerful utility in the body. So how do we do it? He's saying that using cacao is a beneficial way to do that because of the flavanol. Well, flavanols are just are phytonutrients and there's thousands of them. So I don't know why we're focused just on chocolate. I mean, he didn't even really reference like what type of chocolate to be consuming, if, if that's how you can get your flavanols in. But for me, there's a lot of different ways I do this. Starting with like coffee, like an organic coffee is high in phytonutrients and flavanols. So there you go. Uh, cacao, of course is. So if I'm having some dark chocolate, I'll choose a bar that's organic, at least 70% cacao and higher. But there's other ways. Like think about the saying that you may have heard, like eat the foods under the rainbow, the reds, anything colorful, orange, yellow, green, blue, those types of things because they're high in phytonutrients and flavonoids. So when I was sourcing, for instance, the organic super greens and the organic super reds, I was choosing foods very, very high in flavanol because these phytonutrients are so beneficial for our health. And I don't think people quite understand exactly how important it is. Calorie is a unit of measurement, but one calorie to the next calorie may not be the same. You have an ultra processed food here, or you have a flavonoid over here, same calorie, but this one has much more flavanol, so more phytonutrients. Which one are you gonna choose? Of course, we're gonna go with the phytonutrients. Those chemicals, those things are what impact our biological systems. And those are the things that are antioxidants. And they're so really beneficial, guys, for helping us fend off disease and fight and decrease free radicals, which is ultimately a lot of inflammation. So he's probably referencing some really cool studies and some things that are of benefit. But at the end of the day, what does it mean? It means eat whole foods, real ingredients. Use supplement with things like organic super greens, the live good organic super reds, the coffee. You even get it in the collagen peptides as well as the proteins, whether it's the plant-based or the whey protein. Whole foods, real ingredients. Consider some of the products that I formulated using some of these ingredients because they are high in flavanols and they can of course help with stem cell production like you saw here in the video.